see. How you been? Good, man. Good. Wow, you're here. Hey, what's up? When somebody like Scott comes in, you sort of know a lot already just because you're familiar with the records or seen them live. Hey, Kate. There's so many different qualities that, that he has that just raise the bar on the whole situation. You know, something that happened immediately as soon as the first song that we did. When Scott walked in, he was like, hey, there's Scott Weiland. Right on, rock star. Hey, I know that guy. He's the real deal, that guy. But we need the big man up front. That maybe the a known guy, I think, in my opinion. Like Scott. It was, it was completely magical, and it was, and it was a, re a relief to know we could all play together. We set ourselves up for the right person to come in. I don't know, so like that. The right person's come in and we feel justified now. Scott, it's an open canvas, man. It really is. Yeah, I'm a little concerned about his chemical intake and how much of a crush that is for him. I've heard stories about how, how big a problem it is for him. But uh, at this point, I'm, I'm willing to see whether we can work together just on a creative level. I talked to Scott. Scott, you want to do a soundtrack song with us? Scott was all into the idea. The right soundtrack? The right soundtrack. This song comes on a soundtrack. It becomes a hit. We're, we're in a sold out right away. We had this rehearsal where all these producers and directors and music supervisors for all these different companies come down and see us play. Yeah. Oh, there you are. How you doing, man? All right, looking, looking forward to seeing you. All right, see ya. So Scott will be here in an hour. He'll be here in an hour. I About three it. now, almost three. He has four or some psychedelics. He has the flu, but he's feeling better. Hey, Scott, what's that looking good? What do you call? Scott? Yeah. I mean, I don't know what to do. I mean, I we can't can't start out like this, can we? No. Dude, we got all the heavies coming. All all these huge movies. Who else can we get? I mean, they all think it's Scott, though. They do, right? Yeah. Because Scott said, "I'm in. Let's go. Let's do it. All right." Is uh, Scott around? If he doesn't show up, then it's going to be a huge mess. Apparently, he's on his way. Singers. This is our first time ever working with Scott. Scott was really excited. Well, it was, you know, Scott, you gotta be there by 12. Oh, well, 12 rolled around, one rolled around. Don't get excited, don't ever get excited. <laughs> what time are those people coming? Two o'clock. Two o'clock rolled around. That was our first time we'd have invited the industry and if Scott didn't show up, that was gonna put a year's worth of work into some serious jeopardy. So, you know, my anger was pretty founded. What he was doing in those two hours, who knows. But he showed up and he nailed it. Let's go.
I'm, a, I'm more relieved that he showed up when he showed up than even what the people thought of it. Because right. it was really hair raising. All right. Yeah? All yeah. right, ciao, man. Thanks right. a lot. We'll see you guys later. See you, right, dude. We'll call my boy Marty. Thanks a lot, my ass. <laughs> it took years off my life. Scott has a, a massive history of drug use, you know? He's going through some stuff right now. We're not stupid. We know everything that's going on, whether he knows it or not. You know, we've been through it. So set me free, set me free, cause I think you need my soul. Set me free, set me free. So you just talk to him now? Yeah. But what he said? He wants to go into rehab so that he can get himself 100% so that we don't have to worry about him up. Scott understands he's got a problem. But as far as, like, the main thing we're looking for is dependability and reliability. Just because you show up but you're so up, you can't really, you know, if everybody notices it, then you're going to you lose respect that way. It's just scary, you know, the bottom line. Cause it seems like... Totally scary. I know dudes that... You know, it's like you can sit there and say, oh, I want to be sore, and no. And, you know, a year later, it's like, oh, I mean, he's been struggling for a long time, so it's either this is going to be his moment to, to do it, or it's not. You know, I'm just scared to get my heart into this, you know. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a tough one. The lead singer of the rock band Stone Temple Pilots pleaded not guilty to drug charges. Wheatland was arrested after a Burbank police officer said she found narcotics in his vehicle during a routine traffic stop in Burbank on May 17th. Now, your comment on the charges, please. I love playing music. Uh, well, there's uh, one of my family members right there, Jeff Hagan. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Jeff. Yeah. Next step. Staying sober one day at a time. How difficult is it to stay off drugs because he's gone back and forth in and out of rehab programs for the last, what, five, six, seven, eight years? I, I'd rather fight Mike Tyson in the ring, you know? I, I, I got sober, not through a traditional channel, through martial arts. If I can do it, anybody can do it. And that's it. I've seen him sober. And that's a guy I want as a friend. That's a guy I want in my band. That's a guy I want to have as a friend for the rest of my life. Scott has got to find whatever higher power it is, and I'm not going to just say, you know, F him, he's a junkie, he'll never, you know, he's going to die in a couple of years. All we can do is stand behind him. At the end of the day, he's got to do it himself. So it's going to be day by day with that. Discussion off the record uh, regarding uh, he wishes to attend a rehab, is that correct? And the people are not opposed, correct? Yeah.